today and cooking with Tammy, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious saucy French onion pork chop recipe. Now, I don't even have to elaborate and tell you how great this recipe is going to be because you can look at this recipe and just tell that this recipe is going to be fire. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First up on our ingredient list is our pork chops. We're also going to need a lot of onions because we plan on cooking these onions down. And when they break down, they really break down, if you get what I mean. Along with our butter, all-purpose flour, garlic powder, thyme, salt, ground black pepper, a little oil, beef broth, along with our cheeses. Usually when making French onion, you use provolone and Gruyere cheese. I do have Gruyere and provolone cheese in my mix, but I'm also going to incorporate some Parmesan and mozzarella for that little extraness, all right? <laughs> we want all the flavors we could possibly get. So with all of that being said, let's get to cooking. Moving right along to this hot cast iron skillet, I'm going to add a small drizzle of oil followed by a couple tablespoons of butter. Once that becomes nice and melted, add all of those onions. Make sure the onions are laying nice and flat in the pan because we want all of the heat surface contact to break down these onions. What we're going to do is at this point in time, our flame is going to be on medium heat. We're going to give these onions some time to do what it do and break on down because our goal is to caramelize these onions. Quick and easy seasoning, we're going to hit it off with some salt. Make sure you get it really good. However, do not add too much salt, of course. And because I'm using a salt grinder, it's going to take me a little longer to get the salt on out. <laughs> However, once we're done, we're going to hit it off with some ground black pepper. Garlic powder, of course. We don't need any onion powder because, as you can see, we have a ton of onions in the pan already. We're going to take our hands, pat that seasoning on in, make sure everything is locked tightly. Once we're done, we're going to flip it on over. Hit the other side off with some salt as well. Freshly cracked black pepper. And we're just basically repeating the same process on the other side of the pork chop. Once we're finished, we're going to add our garlic powder once again. Add enough garlic powder for that nice flavor. Get in there once again, tap it on in there, and we are done with the seasoning. We're going to grab that all-purpose flour. Not self-rising, but all-purpose. Coat the pork chops lightly with the flour. After you dredge the pork chops, just allow them to sit out for a second, and we are going to check on our onions. Once those onions start to break down and sweat a bit, and the sugar starts to release, our onions are going to caramelize. As you can see, the caramelization has taken place already. However, we want to break it down a little bit more. So we're just going to get in there, toss it around just a bit, flip them on over, allow it to cook evenly on all sides. We're going to keep that flame on medium heat. Since our onions are almost where they need to be, we're going to add a small amount of beef broth. What's the point of adding the beef broth? Well, adding the small amount of beef broth is not only going to help to flavor our onions, but it's also going to help to lift all of that nice caramel coating that's on the bottom of the pan. That's going to coat our onions and check it on out. Our onions are perfectly coated, mm -hmm. looking absolutely gorgeous and smelling even better. We're going to remove our onions from the pan, place it into a bowl, set it aside. Using the same pan, we're going to hit it off with a small drizzle of oil along with the remaining butter. Once everything is nice and hot and that pan comes back up to temperature, we are going to add our pork chops one by one. We're not going to disturb the pork chops because we want them to get a nice color. After about five minutes, we're going to flip the pork chops on over and check it on out. Nice and golden brown and looking so... Mm -mm -mm. Allow it to cook on the other side as well for an additional five minutes. Now here's the thing, not every pork chop is going to cook in five minutes on each side. Some pork chops are going to be thicker cuts than others and some are going to be thinner. So just basically use your discretion and judgment as to when you think your pork chops are going to be finished cooking. Once you're finished, you're going to remove them, set them onto a plate. We're not going to rinse anything out because, of course, we want to keep all of this delicious flavor that's locked into the bottom of the pan. However, we are going to reintroduce our caramelized onions back to the pan. Hold up for a second. As you clearly see, 
After I've added the caramelized onions, I followed up with adding the broth. That's not the way to go. I made a little mistake because of course, behind the scenes, a lot of things is going on. And I chose not to edit that part out because I wanna show you that yes, everybody makes mistakes from time to time. However, what you're gonna do is after you add those caramelized onions, you're gonna add the all-purpose flour. You're gonna incorporate the onions with the flour, allow the flour to cook up for about 10 seconds. Once you're done with that, at that point in time is when you're gonna add the liquid to the pan. Mix it all up, make sure everything is well combined, and that is the way to go. Unfortunately, the way that I'm doing it is gonna take a little longer because you know we gotta get those lumps on out. So if you wanna get it done quick and easy, do it the way that I just explained to you. Onions followed by flour and then liquid. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Mix it up really good, and as you can see, our sauce is starting to thicken up. Because we want to bring even more flavors to our French onion sauce, we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, along with a pinch of salt and ground black pepper. Our sauce has reduced, so we're going to add our pork chops back to the French onion sauce, just like that, one by one. And at this time, if you feel like your pork chops are not cooked all the way through, this would be the perfect time right here to get it cooked through perfectly. Make sure you take some of that gravy along with the onions and place it onto the pork chops just like this. They're going to be great on presentation. We're going to hit it off with our cheese blend combination. Add that provolone, gruyere, and parmesan mix. We're also gonna take those fresh mozzarella slices and we're gonna add it to each individual pork chop. Hit it off with a little bit of that fresh thyme, or if you don't have fresh thyme, of course, add some dried thyme. Because thyme is very flavorful and pungent, you don't wanna have a heavy hand when adding the thyme. We're gonna take some of that rich saucy sauce and add it to the top of the cheese. And you're gonna see in a second as to why we're adding the sauce to the cheese. I'm gonna cover it on down with the lid and after about five minutes, Check it on out, guys. Now, you see why I added those onions to the top of the cheese. You can't tell me that this is not it right here when it comes to the presentation. And I can guarantee you, it tastes even better. This recipe is so delicious and delightful all at the same time. Not to mention quick and easy to put together with basic ingredients. Now, here's the thing. If you're not a fanatic when it comes to pork, make this recipe using chicken as a matter of fact i do have a recipe uh for french onion chicken let me tell you something both recipes absolutely mouth-watering delicious i'm gonna link it in the description bar all you gotta do is scroll down to the bottom in the description bar you're gonna find the recipe and the link for the french onion chicken as well i'm gonna cut into it to show you what our french onion pork chop looks like and as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Of course, you can tell from the texture that the meat is cooked perfectly all the way through. Definitely give this recipe a try because it will be so worth it. Not to mention, not only does it make the perfect weekend recipe, but it definitely makes the perfect weeknight recipe as well because it cooks really fast. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy and I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye guys.